thanks very much. Uh, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> very nice to be here. Uh, thanks to the organizers for the opportunity to speak today and present Anoka. Um, thanks as well for a, a great meeting so far. It's just a shame we couldn't do much about the weather uh, today. Uh, so my name, my name is Mark Farmery. I'm Chief Development Officer uh, at Anoka. Uh, we're a, a, um, a privately held biotech based in Stockholm in Sweden. And our focus is um, really engineering next generation T-cell immunotherapies. And the company is built around a precision biology platform that we think can de decode, unlock, and harness T-cell biology. And the data that we've generated uh, so far has shown that we can do this at an unprecedented level of um, precision and scale. And I'll, I'll explain more about that as the, as the, as the talk progresses. Uh, T un unlocking this potential really allows us to uh, tap into a, a very large therapeutic target space across multiple modalities and disease areas. And at Anoka, we're focusing our technologies and our platforms uh, in, the, in the generation and development of, of potentially curative engineered TCRT cell therapies, initially for many different cancer types. And, and again, I'll explain more about uh, more about that as the as the talk progresses. <clears throat> so just to introduce the company in a little bit more detail, uh, we were formed back in 2014, and literally as an idea on a piece of paper, and really, be, really interesting story, I'd be happy to share that uh, at a later date. And we've built uh, the company today to uh, a team of around 75 scientists, engineers, and software developers. We've got a, a small but very committed group of shareholders who have invested around $100 million in the company to date. And we've used this to, um, to, to really build, build out and establish a, uh, a platform of uh, a, a differentiated and, and, and proprietary suite of platform technologies that we're using to discover, develop, and uh, advance libraries of TCRT assets that provide very deep HLA coverage and can access uh, multiple cancer targets. <clears throat> and in addition to our research capabilities, we also have in-house GMP manufacturing and production uh, capabilities within the company. We've established a number of partnerships uh, over the past few years, including a research collaboration with uh, Janssen Oncology, and we also have very important partnerships with uh, the Karolinska Institute, and the Karolinska University Hospital uh, in Stockholm. So just to take a little bit of a step back, and for those of you who, uh, are, who may not be so familiar with uh, engineered T-cell therapies, TCRs basically are at the core of this, and they target tumor-specific HLA-presented antigens that are derived from within cells. And the advantage of TCRT as opposed to, T, uh, as opposed to CAR T is that using this, this type of approach, we can access the complete cellular proteome. And uh, engineered TCRs can then detect HLA-presented antigens. And this, in turn, is more suitable for addressing solid tumor types where there is an abundance of tumor-specific targets if you can unlock this, um, this type of biology in, in the right way. CAR-T, uh, uh, on the other hand, is limited to cell surface antigens, and these are not generally tumor-specific targets. So, um, as I say, if you can unlock this uh, very complex biology, uh, then we open up a huge therapeutic potential. But as many of you will be well aware, T-cell biology is highly complex. And in our view, uh, to really address this, we require an, an assumption-free approach to therapeutic discovery. And the challenge with unlocking the potential of T-cell uh, therapeutics uh, is threefold. So on, in the first instance, we have the HLA challenge. So all of us have six HLA genes that are derived from around 13,000 known uh, genes in humans. And each HLA can, in turn, present a set of uh, different tar target antigens. Antigens themselves 
are presented to T cells in, um, in, in a way that is dependent on both the T, uh, dependent on both the, T, the disease target and also the HLA gene. And the third component in all of this is then the TCR challenge. So the immune system produces huge numbers of, of TCRs that are constantly scanning um, for non-self um, uh, genetic and, and protein antigenic signals. Uh, and these, these, are, these are produced in huge numbers, around 10 to the power of 18 uh, unique TCRs. These are then compatible with uh, a person's both HLA um, background uh, and, and, uh, and, 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 and genetic makeup. So what we've done at Anoka is to uh, build a platform that addresses, we think, this challenge um, and allows then the discovery of biologically relevant cancer targets and also then in turn high quality TCRs to then specifically target cancer cells. And our, our view in, t in, 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 in the context of addressing um, TCRT is that this is a, really a, a highly, pre highly specific precision immunotherapy. And to, as I mentioned, really unlock this potential, we require multiple uh, assets to be developed in parallel that'll treat a maximal patient population. And so our approach at Anoka is using our platform technologies is to build TCRT libraries for validated cancer targets that span multiple HLA backgrounds. And then this enables in turn a personalized both single target or multi-target therapeutic approach to, to treating disease. And so if we, if we think about patient segments, each segment has a different HLA restricted antigen target. Each segment then in turn needs an HLA-specific TCRT to address that specific cancer target. And then uh, by producing TCRT libraries, we can facilitate then the targeted treatment of the right target and the right HLA. And our vision is that these types of treatments will evolve in a way where we will have both single target TCRT assets that are deployed to patients with matched HLAs and target antigens, or a personalized multi-target approach where multiple TCRT assets are then deployed to patients, and this leverages then multiple HLAs and multiple antigen target combinations. So just to tell you a little bit more about the, the platform, the discovery platform that we've built, this is, this is centered on three, uh, three components precision biology, industrial biotechnology, and advanced software solutions. So in, in terms of our precision biology approaches, um, the real fundamental um, view at Anoka is that this should be an assumption-free assumption, uh, approach to TCR discovery and based around biological analysis. So we're using proprietary tools to discover biologically validated antigen targets and then develop clinically actionable TCRs. And we have several different pieces of technology in, in the platform that allows this assumption-free um, uh, cellular biology assay type approach. This is enabled by um, scalable and modular technologies that, that really build in a lot of standardization and also, also automation into these biological analyses. <clears throat> And all of this is underpinned by an in-house proprietary uh, software platform that orchestrates these complex workflows, uh, facilitates automation within the laboratory, and allows us to database, visualize data, and also interpret data. And the flow of the, um, the, the, the discovery platform is essentially a, a, a drug discovery approach. Uh, we start with an open reading frame of a, of a disease target. We, we incorporate that into our antigen uh, presenting cell platform, carry out antigen discovery uh, in, in, uh, in, in, in parallel and at, at broad scale. This feeds into our TCR discovery pipelines where we can characterize both TCRs, their interaction with disease target antigens, and then we can also uh, triage for, for, for safety. So this is in, in, in terms of allyreactivity reactivity and also cross-reactivity. If we um, uh, then select TCR, we have the ability to also evolve that and optimize its function. 
And all of these modules within the platform are individually novel. There's a high degree of differentiation throughout each part of the platform. And collectively, the, this, is, this is then fully differentiated and also fully operationalized. And we integrate our discovery platform into a, um, um, into a workflow that then, then feeds into both preclinical um, asset development, clinical manufacturing, and, and clinical development. So what our platforms deliver then uh, with high speed, high precision, are asset libraries that we think have very, very high potential. So we create a series of libraries throughout the, um, throughout the discovery flow of the pipeline, and these are related to both antigens, TCR assets, and then clinically actionable TCR T-cell therapy assets. So in, in our um, antigen discovery pipelines, we can um, uh, develop, uh, discover and develop functionally defined biologically real cancer targets. These then feed into our TCR discovery um, uh, modules. We discover and, and develop TCR asset libraries that, that facilitates then a candidate pool um, of precise TCR T cell therapy prototypes. And then when incorporating these with an effector cell, we can then um, create TCRT asset libraries that are specific to cancer targets and also specific to patient HLAs. So uh, we're developing a, a number of these asset libraries in parallel. Uh, we have programs targeting shared tumor antigen targets such as NYS01, MAJ4. This slide gives you an example of, uh, of our lead program, which is a, a target-specific franchise for KRAS mutations. We have currently um, uh, uh, programs, asset libraries, targeting um, uh, the four major KRAS mutations, which are linked to, to several different types of uh, solid cancer. And our asset libraries will then generate around 16 TCRTs that cover the four KRAS mutations and in six major HLA groups. And this approach then uh, allows us to um, develop assets that can cover very broad patient populations in all major geographies, opening up a, a very high addressable market. So just to close out the presentation, um, tell you a little bit more about the, uh, the, the company and the way that we're built. Uh, we have a very robust intellectual property portfolio uh, that, is, that is really uh, securing the, te the, the key technologies within the company, a number of granted pass patents across uh, four major families. Uh, we're actually located in ex-AstraZeneca research facilities just south of Stockholm. And this uh, gives us access to a 3,000 square meter research facility and a 5,000 square meter uh, state-of-the-art GMP manufacturing facility. We've built a, a very highly skilled team, uh, primarily located out in the lab. Uh, it's around 75 people, many with higher degrees. And we also have a dedicated uh, software development hub that's located in central Stockholm. So finally, um, just to mention a little bit about our partnering interests. So we are focused, as I, as I mentioned, on driving forwards our um, uh, uh, TCRT cancer libraries. Uh, we can take those into the clinic uh, using our, our in-house manufacturing facilities. Uh, but we're very open to exploring different types of partnerships, uh, be that uh, licensing of pipeline assets, discovery collaborations, uh, broader scientific collaborations, or indeed, uh, I think we've heard a lot about this during the conference so far, um, this is a, a highly complex space. There's a lot of interesting technology out there. We're very open to peer-to-peer -to -peer collaborations that are truly synergistic, uh, where we can co-develop, we can combine our TCRT libraries uh, with novel technologies, co-develop um, um, novel products, and really uh, leverage uh, capabilities and technologies together with, with peers. So, so I'm around uh, during the rest of today, very happy to uh, have a conversation if anybody's interested. Thank you very much for your attention.